So, um, Jenny from Ultimate is going to be working with you. And we're going to be working on tumbling skills. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to get in teams. So, I'm going to break you up in teams. Okay? I'm going to give you a number. Remember your number. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one. Okay, so the ones are going to come over here, the twos are going to come over here, and the threes are going to be over here. So what I'd like you to do is, okay, I would like you guys to uh, introduce yourself to each other, get to know each other's name real quick. Do you guys know each other's names? Yeah. Right, you guys know? <laughs> All right, so when we come back together for our game, this is going to be your team. All right, so you guys are team one. You're going to um, gonna put your points on the sheet that says team one. Okay, team two, team three. All right, okay. All right, guys, come on over here. Jenny's going to explain uh, what we're going to start off with. We're going to work on a drill for squaring our hips. Do hands on the ground, put on the beam, drive, drive, drive. Okay, so we're going to put our foot flat on there. We want our knees straight. Do your good leg and your bad leg, 10, not each. Okay, see how she has her hands right under her shoulders? That's what we're working for. We want to be in a good good posture, okay? Okay, we can go to any of these beams here or on the other side, and let's get that started. Um, what, are the, what kind of things are you doing on the beam right now? Um, normally I just work dance oh, on the beam. Okay, <laughs> okay. Then I guess we'll have you do that. Okay. We're going to do a handstand walk. Would you be able to do that, or yeah. you're not even... Okay, you can do the handstand walk then. Okay. What team are you on? One. One? Okay. There's an extra person on one. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, get your hands a little bit closer together. Um, there you go. Paris. <laughs> Good. Keep those knees tight. Okay, we want to have our legs nice and straight and square our hips, guys. Get your hands under a little bit more and get those ribs up. Yep. Yeah. Try to keep that hip squared. There you go. Are you done already? Yeah. Yeah. I can do my good leg. Ribs in. Try to get your ribs in a little bit more, girls. Okay, girls, as soon as you're done, let's get up on all the beams. We can also use these. We're going to do a handstand walk. I'd like to see your arms up by your ears when you get ready to start. Okay, just a regular handstand. We're going to walk across. We can go on these beams. Yep, we can go on all the beams. So spread out and get on all the beams. Yep, keep that knee a little bit straighter. Okay, handstand walk. Just start at the end. We're going to do a handstand walk all the way down the beam. Arms up and go. Nice and tight. Push tall on your shoulders, guys, and point your feet. We can use, um, you guys can also come over here to these beams right now until they're done. Very nice. Pushing up tall on our shoulders. There you go. Bring, uh, start your hands in, then start walking, okay? <coughs> okay, all right, next. We're going to do cartwheel step in. Let me see you start with your arms. Back. Okay, we got to move from these beams now. We can be on this one, guys. We can use this one right here. Okay, we can also use the beam over here on the end, guys. Okay, girls, arms up, ribs in, Kurt will step in. Five tries, Kurt will step in. You can also go to the beam over there on the end. There's one over there by the, yeah, the medium one. We have nines and tens. Do we? Okay. Good, square those hips a little bit more. Guys, quarter, quarter. We want to square, and you want to look under your arm and see your foot. Good job. Try to push up a little bit taller as you're going. I don't want to see any space here, okay? Okay. Okay, when you're done with five, come on over here, please. Square the hip a little bit more. Okay. All right, everybody line up on the line. Okay, you can be my helper, okay? All right, guys, we're gonna do a drill for squaring our hips and our back walkover. Okay, so she's gonna point her foot. 
Okay, arms by your ears. Okay, we're gonna go back, walk over to handstand. So you're gonna go back and she's gonna square and she's gonna think about squaring her hip and then step down. All right, you can either step into a lunge or step in, however your coach has you work on it. But we're trying to square our hips, okay? Um, so let's spread out across the line, facing the vaulting area. Let's try five back walk over to handstands, okay? So on the line, yep, so spread out down there. We can, we can scoot apart a little bit, guys. Okay, all right, push, nice arms, square in the hips. Uh, are, you, are you with the other group? Yeah. That's fine, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice tight legs. Girls, make sure you, when you start going back, let your arms lead the way. Don't throw your head back. Tight. Square that hip. That second hip. I want to. See, I want you guys to try to square your hip. Very nice. Good job. Okay, so we wanted to try at least five. Okay, awesome, awesome. Guys, what level were nine and tens here? Okay, all right. Um, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over to the beam. We're gonna try five of these, okay? Trying to square our hips, okay? I'd like you to, if you can't get, if you're nervous about trying it, you can try three regular back walkovers and do three down there. I don't think you guys are gonna have a problem. Let's go try five, okay? Five back walkovers, and then we're gonna come back down here. Five normal ones or We're going to try to square hips. So we're trying five to the handstand if we can, all right? If you don't feel comfortable, you can go to the low beam and do them down there, but... And then we'd have to do three regular ones and then three down there, but... Okay, let's give it a shot. Stretch. Good job. Very good. Okay. Nice and tight, guys. Push tall in your shoulders. We don't ever want to be saggy when we're doing our tumbling, okay? So we want to elevate in our shoulders as we're going back. Girls, we can also use that beam over there on the side by the pole. Over there, we can use that one too. Stretch. Very nice, good job. Okay, try to keep your arms right by your ears when you're starting it. Watch it. Nice, good, very nice, good job. Okay. Cause after you've tried five, you're gonna come back over here, okay? And like, what do you go with like all the like, maybe like there's only one, but they always have the same deal. Did you have a front aerial or? Front aerial or side aerial? So you're okay. okay. We're gonna grab this. Excuse us, Dave. We're gonna. Okay, we're gonna grab this real quick. Okay, when you're done, come on over here, girls. Okay, we're gonna do a front. I just had a drill for the front walkover. This is also good for a front aerial. Okay. Because we're going to want front walkovers next. So all I want is nice stretch when you start. Front walkover. Your leg's going to come in. You're going to push your hips forward and chest roll. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So we can try it here. And we can try it over there. So like two lines and then two lines. And let's try three of those, okay? Yeah, you're going to push your hips forward. Uh, you can take a look there. See how she's... But you're not going to fall straight, guys. Guys, it's more of... Uh, come on over here. Just... Push your hips forward. Hips forward. You're gonna arch, press your hips, 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 roll, 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 and lightly. Okay? All right, let's try that. Front walkovers. You're gonna do that, you're gonna go to a arch, but you gotta control your arms. Okay, we wanna control how fast we're coming down. Girls, focus on the floor. Okay? I don't want you to I don't want you to put your chin down. Push and hips. Good job. Hips forward and, okay, got to get just a little bit closer. Push it and hips and. Okay, try three, guys. Push and hips and. Okay, you're pulling your chin down. 
You gotta try to watch your hands when they're on the floor, okay? Danny, we're gonna watch your hands, okay? And press, 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 press. Okay, yep, your head's the last thing to come up. All right, now, guys, five front walkovers on the beam. Go try five front walkovers. If you don't have it on the high beam, you can do it on the low beam. Let's try five. All right, so I obviously, I want you to focus on your hands. And arms press back at the end, okay? Okay, think about your leg is in a split, and then it comes down, okay? And that's gonna help you bring your chest up. Push, go ahead, tighten up those knees. Watch the beam, and excellent over there on the low beam, good job. Very nice, good job. Okay, a little bit fast. Just slow it down a little bit on the end, okay? Okay, girls, you're gonna try five. When you're, when you're done trying five, come over to the floor and warm up your flight series. Very good. What do we do? Put in one of your flight series. Okay, when you're done, come over. Let's warm up at least three flight series. That was better. You just got to stretch up a little bit more through your handstand, okay? Okay, let's warm up three flight series, guys. Be careful, we don't run into each other. Okay, I wanna see nice straight legs. As you're coming up, girls, arms narrow, and then you can finish however your coach likes you to finish. Very nice, good job. Push that second leg a little bit straighter, okay? Okay, all right, bring it on over. Okay, um, does everybody have a back hamstring layout? No, okay, okay. Well, let me tell you the rules. We're gonna play a game. Well, let me grab my paper. I remember it. Okay, if for whatever reason you're on the low beam and you do a flight series, we're doing a flight series game you get a half a point, okay? So that means you have to take two turns to get a point. And then if you make it, you get an additional point. So if you take a turn, you make it, that's one point. Take another turn, you make it, that's two points. And then once you've taken two turns, you get one point, so that would be three. Any of the low beams, it's one point without the mats, okay? And if you make it, it would be two. The medium beam, which would be over there, at the end over there, and then we're considering this medium since we have two mats underneath it, that's two points, and if you make it, it's another point. The high beams, these two high beams here, um, it's gonna be three points, and if you make it, it's four, and if you have a layout or a salto, then you get an additional point. So if you get back hamstring, back hamstring, make it, it would be three, or three, and then you'd get one point. But if you're doing like a back hamstring layout, because we're rewarding a little bit more difficulty. So you, if you get up there, an high beam, you make your layout, it's five points, okay? And um, we could even, since we don't have as many high beams, we could take this mat out and count this as a high beam if you guys want. Do you guys want to do that or do you want it to be a medium? It's fine, is that okay? Okay, okay, all right. So, I'll give you guys about a minute to warm up and we're gonna start, and then you gotta, every time you take a turn, you come over here and you put your points down, put tally marks down, and then we'll add them all up at the end, okay? Honor system, okay? If you don't connect it, it doesn't count, okay? If you didn't make it, you don't get the extra point, all right? Okay, we've had some really hardworking teams today, and I heard some good stuff about you guys, so let's get it going, okay? Let's do a quick warm-up. Where would we write it? Um, you're going to, which team are you? One. One? Okay, so over here we're, three? Okay, so over here.
you go for They get an extra point. So if they do it on one of the other beams, it's still an extra point. Sorry, I'm going to ask you something about my twist. Cross, if you're working on getting your layout, you have your old flight series, you can do your flight series here, and then while you're waiting for your turn on the high beam, come to the low beam. That way we're being more productive, okay? Okay, so you guys wanted this to be a high beam, right? So we can get more points. Why don't we take that red mat, just slide it over to that last beam. Just if you guys, one. yeah. And then we can get started. Just slide it under there. Hold on one second. Just push it that way. Yep. All right, are you guys ready? If you're still warming up, that's fine. But the people that are starting their flight, I'm going to start giving them points, okay? Okay. All right, let's go. We'll just, we'll put it right under there. Let's put it under there so it's not halfway. Um, I'm just going to see how you guys are doing. You know what I mean? Like, I'll probably go for about 10 minutes. All right, come on. Very nice. Just tighten up that back leg, okay? Good job. Five. Yep, she just got five points. Go, girl. My nice form, guys. And nice arms. Awesome. And finish. Chin up. Chin up on your finish. <laughs> Very nice. We have our points right after we do it. Yep. Yeah. As soon as you take your turn, write your points down. Unless you're doing like two in a row, okay? And then you write it down at the end. Go try keep that belly in as you bring your arms up, okay? Good. Okay, girls, narrow arms as you're coming up tight and then do your finish. However your coach wants you to do the finish, but you want to bring your arms up together. Good, good. Just a little bit tighter with that back leg, okay? Actually looks better than what you showed me on the floor, so that's that's good. You made the correction. Okay. Yeah, you can work on your upgrade if you want to in between, okay? Come on, you got it. All right, a little bit. When you're splitting, we got to work on getting that back leg a little bit more square, okay? Great power, though. You should be doing a layout, layout pretty soon, huh? You're working on it? Excellent. Nice arms. I like those arms. Good job. You got it. Come on. Guys, cheer for your team. Come on. Better. Come on, you got it. Trust yourself. You can do it. Good. You're pounding them out there. Awesome. Come on, you got it. Very nice. Remember our saying, the bigger the dream, the more important the team, right? So let's cheer each other on. Let's work together. Okay? A little bit more hips in that back hamstring. A little more hip rise, okay? Oh, you all right? Take a breather. Take a breather. Okay. You, you brought your arms wide right off the beam, that's why. Okay, you got a lot of power, so you gotta make sure you're tight right there. Okay, move it around. Okay, okay go, do, go do one on the floor real quick and let's come back up, okay? You know what, you have a gorgeous one. You just, you got a little loose, you let your arms go to the side. That's why it's really important that we're focused and we keep our arms close, okay? It's okay, shake it off, you can do it. 
There you go. Guys, you guys are doing an awesome job. I just want to see some tighter legs in those layouts. Better. What's the better one? Good save. Good. Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, you got this. Come on, back hands and arms narrowed, not right to the side, okay? You got this. Come on, Ryan, you can do it. You got it. Come on. See the beam. Push. There you go. Good job. Very nice. Come on, girls. Good. Okay, two minutes. Two minutes. See, that was better form. I like the form on that one. Okay, nice straight arms as you're coming up. Okay, good try. Okay, Ryan, let's try to get another one in, okay? All right, let me see. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Now a little bit more stretch. Okay, and arms all the way up when you're taking off, okay? Okay, 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds. Arms close. It's okay. Try again. Open the hips on the takeoff. Keep it. Good. Straight arms. Better. Better. All right. All right, Rye. Okay. These two up on the high beam are last. Go mark your points down, guys. Let's tally up our points. Awesome. Good. Okay, guys, uh, put your points down, count them up as a team, and tell Jenny. Tell Jenny what your points were. Okay, add up your points. 101. Awesome. Okay, good job. Okay, your team what? Two. Two? One. Oh, 59. Okay. I'm oh, what's, where's team three? What'd you guys get? 69. Okay, all right, excellent job, guys. These guys are the winners with 101. So they get to pick out a piece of candy out of the candy bag. You get a treat for oh, your I trick. <laughs> okay, now we have about five minutes left, so um, we are going to work on uh, front aerials, side aerials, back tucks, things like that. Okay, so front tuck. Um, does everybody have a salto, a back tuck, front aerial, side aerial? Okay. Um, if you have it with a jump, you can do that as well. Okay. Um, all right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna uh, we're gonna do it by teams again. You got a chance. Somebody else because has a chance to win right now. Okay. We only have about three minutes. So um, what we'll do is, um, it's only one skill, so how about if, if it's on the high beam, you'll get uh, three points, and if you make it, you get an extra point, all right? Okay, let's go. If it's on the low beam, it'll be the same rules over here. Yeah, start, let's go, because we only have a little bit of time left. Yeah, 
Yeah, but make a new line so that we keep it. Guys, make a new line so we keep it separate. See it? Nice. Okay, you're turning your shoulders a little too much. Quarter, quarter, okay? Like you start at the quarter and then you see, look for your foot. Look for it. Okay, that was better. And swing those arms up. Are you trying to press your arms back right away? So as you bring that leg down, pull back, okay? Square that hip. Guys, you're doing a pretty good job. Maybe we should try to do a jump out of it, okay? All right, if you, if you connect it with a jump, you can get an extra point, all right? But if you, if you need to do it separate, that's fine. I'm just saying, I'm trying to reward you guys for trying to challenge yourself, okay? Focus on the beam. Nice. Good job. Okay. Excellent. On the beat, jump. Point the toes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you, um, when you're straddling, when you're straddling, you got We got to try to get, get you to turn your hips a little bit, okay? Because you did a really wide straddle, but you went a, a little bit around the side. So that's squared up. So use your arms to help you. As you're coming down, look for that foot and pull his arms up, okay? Guys, your arms are gonna help you, okay? It's gonna help finish. It's kinda like the connector. It finishes it. Okay, always put your second foot on. And if you're crooked, then you jump off, okay? Okay, pull back those shoulders a little bit. Should you do a sword shape with it? Yeah. You can try the sword shape with it if you want, sir. It's fine. Yeah, guys, you can either do a jump out or a leap into it. That's fine. Don't put your head down too soon. Okay, you're just putting your head down, just like the front walkovers. Guys, the front aerial, it's a drill that we did in the front walkover. Point and up. Okay. Okay, a little bit more open in this foot, okay? Point your front foot and that's foot jump, okay? Oh, that was that was better. Your hips are a lot better, we just gotta get the foot a little straighter. Okay, but you can't move your foot between the back tuck and the jump, okay? Or you won't get credit for the connection. Not bad. Yeah, and you could also try to work on the aerial back hamstring. Have you ever worked on those? You're working on those? Okay. Guys, that aerial can turn into a flight with a back hamstring or a layout. All right, guys, add up your points. Add up your points. Okay, add up your points, guys. Come on. How many? Add them up quick. You're going to Tumlin Complex. Okay. 57. 57? Okay. How many? 